we all know each other before we started working there. We've all been surfing with each other for years. My name is Chris Shanahan. Cape Coast has been in this location for about 13 years now. And, but we've been in business for 34 years in Ocean City. So this is our flagship store. We sell everything from sunglasses to skateboards to shoes to candles to uh, stickers, surfboards obviously. But I always tell people we sell fun. That's what we do here. We sell fun to people that are coming down to the beach to relax. I have a business partner, his name is Mark Pugh. Um, we met each other when we were working at Phillips Crab House on 21st Street. And the idea of K-Coast came from um, our love of surfing, because we love to surf. And we kind of came up with this name, Kookaburra Coast Surf Shop. And it was kind of more or less a, a fictitious surf shop. But we made this t-shirt and we sell, sold it to all of our friends at, at uh, Phillips. And it was really popular. So that the following we said, hey, let's, why don't we open a little retail store? So we opened a very, very small 600 square foot retail store down uh, on Somerset Street. And we did that for about a year. And then the following year, we were approached by the people that owned the Atlantic Hotel, which is directly across the street from where we were. It's a big hotel, and they had an, a, a building for rent right there on uh, Philadelphia or Baltimore Avenue in Somerset. And it was actually the old post office. It was the original post office in Ocean City. It was a big store. And so we rented that, and we, uh, we actually uh, started having a little more success retail-wise when we opened that store because it was bigger, you could carry more products. And we didn't have any money, quite honestly. We borrowed against our vehicles and all that, but we were bartending at the time. We bartended at uh, Shenanigans Irish Pub on 4th Street. One, one of us would work, one of us would bartend, and we'd flip-flop and stuff. We still had bills. We had student loans to pay and that kind of thing, um, and obviously living expenses. So we kept the, our overhead very, very meager in order to kind of survive. Kind of as, as we built our inventory, um, the more stuff we sold, but the money for that would go right in cash register. We didn't take a salary for the first six years. Our first employee was uh, my, my business partner's mom. She helped us out. I think one of our biggest uh, attributes for running this shop was that we paid our bills. It's a business relationship, yet still friendship. I don't even know. He's a really cool guy. Spike and Pete are great. They're super just like welcoming of any new people that try to come in here. They're really good with like knowing that people come from all over the place and like keeping them in different locations and stuff. They're, they're just really cool guys. And I'm 57 years old and he's the same age. We're both the same age. We're 57. And so uh, we're looking to more or less fine tune the stuff that we're doing now. We would like to maybe back off the management portion of it a little bit and, and give our managers a little bit more responsibility so that we can um, not necessarily have more free time but just maybe more time to, uh, to surf and, and do what we like to do uh, without having to be on top of everything every day. We have survived because we live here at the beach and it seems like people will always come down to the beach. They're always going to take a vacation. We are very close to very densely populated metropolitan areas where people can jump in their car and be here in three hours. So, I mean, we're very lucky to live here. Um, if, if somebody would have given me half a million dollars to open a store two years ago in Ohio, I would have said no, because I, I don't think I could have survived. So it's all about the location. <laughs>